research proves that screening for breast cancer with mammograms saves lives. But mammograms are not perfect. They can miss tumors, especially in women with dense breast tissue. That's why doctors at Mayo Clinic also use MRIs to screen for breast cancer in high-risk women. The technology can detect some tumors that mammograms cannot. Um, this is a picture of my grandparents. Melanie Akinson is at high risk for breast cancer. Several women in her family have had breast or ovarian cancer, and Melanie carries a breast cancer gene. Um, I discovered several years ago that I'm a BRCA1 carrier. I come in every six months to have an examination. For high risk women, MR has been shown to be better than mammography in detecting disease at its earliest stage. MRIs can pick up cancers that mammograms sometimes miss, especially in women with dense breast tissue. This MRI of another patient lit up a cancerous tumor not visible on a mammogram. The corresponding area would be up here and out here, and it doesn't show up as being significantly different than the remainder of this tissue. MRI gives doctors a clearer look at dense breast tissue, but it has its limitations. It's expensive, and it can miss tiny calcifications regularly picked up on mammograms. So the key is to alternate between mammograms and MRI. Dr. Pruthi says that's what the American Cancer Society recommends. They did not say MR in the place of mammography. High-risk women were to be given both. Two complementary screening tools to help detect breast cancer early while it's still curable. I feel lucky that I can have this testing. In addition to these two screening tools, researchers are looking into other methods of screening for women with dense breast tissue. One test that holds much promise is called molecular breast imaging. It may be better than mammograms at detecting cancer, yet less expensive than MRIs. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.